This is lesson 7-1, which is adding and subtracting polynomials. The essential question is, how does adding or subtracting polynomials compare to adding or subtracting integers? So the first thing we can talk about is there's two different ways we name polynomials. We name based on the degree, so the highest power of our variable, and we can name based on the number of terms. So you can see a polynomial that has one term, like 7, has a degree 0 because there's no variable. We call that a constant function. Um, if the degree is 1, like 4x to the first power, remember it's understood that it's to the first power, that's linear. This one has a power of 2, so degree of 2, so it's quadratic. This one we can add the powers, so we can see that x squared y to the first, so that would be degree 3, which is cubic. And then fourth degree, we can add those powers, would be fourth degree. So anything above a cubic doesn't have a special name. You could say quartic, but we usually just say fourth degree, fifth degree, and so on. Okay, and then based on the terms, if there's one term, so terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So if there's no adding or subtracting taking place, then you only have one single term. So that's a monomial. If you have two terms, so see we have an x and a 7, that's a binomial. Trinomial is three terms, so see there's one, two, three terms, so that's a trinomial. And then anything above that, so this would be four terms, so we just call it a polynomial. Okay, so our first example is what is the standard form of the polynomial? So standard form means that we're going to arrange our polynomial from the highest degree to the lowest degree. So we look for the highest power of x and that's our first term. So our highest power is x to the fourth, so we're going to write 6x to the fourth, then minus x to the third. Notice I'm keeping the sign that comes in front of each term. So if it's minus, we need to keep that minus. Then minus 3x squared, then plus 7x, then minus 5. So this would be standard form because the degree is from the highest power to the lowest power. So this is a fourth degree because our highest degree is 4, and then if we're naming it by terms, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, so we would just call it a polynomial. So this would be named fourth degree polynomial. Okay, so next is how can we add and subtract monomials, so terms within our polynomial. So we have 4x plus 3x squared plus 2x plus x squared plus 5. How can we combine terms and write it in standard form? So let me use colors here. So I have a 4x and a 2x that can be combined. And I have a 3x squared and an x squared that can be combined. And I have a 5 that can't be with, combined with anything. So I'm going to write this from the highest power, which is x squared. So 3x squared plus x squared would be 4x squared. And then a 4x and a 2x, so that would be 6x, and then plus 5. So this would be a second degree, or we say quadratic. And there are 1, 2, 3 terms, so this is a quadratic trinomial. Try for three terms. Okay, so now adding polynomials. Adding polynomials is just like adding numbers. So you can see here there's an example. So over here this is how we would add um, two numbers that are in the hundreds. We would add the ones, we would add the, the tens, and we would add the hundreds. So same is going to be true when we're adding polynomials. We're going to add the constants, we're going to add the x's, add the x squareds, if we need to, add the x cubes, and so on. So I'm going to set this up kind of like um, the example up above. So I'm going to write 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 plus, now I'm going to put this one underneath, 3x squared plus 6. 
So notice that this second, um, second polynomial doesn't have an x term, so I just left a blank in there, so that way we know we're not adding anything to the 2x. So if I add 4x squared plus 3x squared, I get 7x squared plus 2x, and then negative 3 plus 6 would be plus 3. So that would be my polynomial. Oops, blank screen. Okay, and then subtracting. So subtracting polynomials, we're going to do the same idea, except instead of writing them how we did the last one, I want to do something first. So this is very helpful when you're subtracting. You have to subtract every single term in that second polynomial. So my first step is I'm going to distribute the negative. So basically I'm going to multiply everything in the second parentheses by negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite, I have 6x squared plus 3x minus 2. There's my first polynomial. Then I'm going to distribute. So negative 1 times 3x squared would be minus 3x squared. And then negative 1 times 5x would be minus 5x. And then a negative 1 times a negative 8 would be plus 8. So then now I have all of the terms, and we can go back to like we did two examples ago, and we can just add the like terms. So I have a 6x squared and a negative 3x squared, so that would become 3x squared. I have a 3x and a negative 5x, that would become minus 2x. And then I have a negative 2 and a positive 8, so that would become 6. So when you're subtracting, it helps to distribute that negative and then combine your like terms. Okay, so that is section 7.1. Let me know if